few years ago I went to Osaka and Osaka has got its uh, its own record store map kind of kind of neat huh um, it's got a map inside of three areas list of stores so you can get around And it's three areas. It's Umeda, it is Namba, and Shinsaibashi. And I know in, here's Disc Union. They have a, Disc Union is the largest, so they have uh, record stores in uh, Osaka. But, you know, interesting names. King Kong. Um, King Kong's got a few locations. Um, Time Bomb. And the last time I was there, I, I, I picked up um, this copy, Japanese copy of Let It Bleed, and you'll notice there's there's no Obi. They had probably six copies of Let It Bleed at this one store when I was there. Got some light in the back. Sorry about that. And um, this had no Obi, and I walked up to the register with with this one for a thousand yen, and the other one with the Obi, and that was that was uh, fifteen hundred yen. This is how green I was. I didn't know that the, <laughs> the OB was going to be more expensive. And I just asked him in Japanese, what, you know, why the price difference? And he pointed the OB, and that was the reason more expensive. So that's when I got it. So there's the lyrics on the inside in English and Japanese, which is nice. And this is interesting. I think this is the original paper sleeve. So this is on London. I'm sure they probably had some, some contract with London Records. As you can see, there's the blue label, but it's manufactured in Japan. So probably manufactured by King Records, which was one of the largest uh, uh, record plans with a license to um, London Records, I guess. In Japan, there is a rule, and that is if a customer takes the, uh, the device home and powers it on, he can't return it to the store. By powering it on, unless smoke is coming out of it, or it is, there is a defect, defective aspect of it due to manufacturing, customer cannot return. And this is why the, there is an industry here of stores devoted to selling um, used appliances and, and, uh, and audio gear. Uh, there are stores, there's a nationwide chain called Hard Off and a nationwide chain called Book Off for books. And this is where people bring their, um, their, their, their items that they've owned, books and, and audio gear, and uh, they get uh, kind of a low ball price. But you know, for convenience, they'll they'll hand it over to a hard off and and uh, get most of their money back. A lot of people resell their their gear on uh, Yahoo auctions, so it's not uncommon to see um, lots and lots and lots of um, of electronic gear in in Japan from all decades. Um, on sale in Japan online. Um, one thing that Hard Off will do is they will refurbish a little bit or they, they will inspect uh, the appliance or the amplifier and they will give it a, um, a 30 or a 90 day guarantee. Meaning if, if you bring it home and it, it dies um, or there's something defective, you can return it to Hard Off as a used item and get your money back. So that's a good thing. And uh, I go there, I go there all the time. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to cover here. I think that's about it. Oh, the it's a great time to come to Japan. I mean, the, the uh, it is uh, 143, 144 yen to the U.S. dollar and and also to the euro. So um, um, they are they are cutting. They're no longer restricting um, visits to a tour tour groups. Um, you want to come here on your own. Um, you want to come stay at a big city. Come to Osaka. You know, Osaka is a great city. You've got you've got Disc Union in so many stores, or or go to go to Tokyo, Shibuya, Shinjuku. Disc Union Disc Union will take you up for a week. We're, you know, seven seven stories, a bunch of stores clustered. I mean, it would give me an aneurysm going there. So, I spend my time shopping online and in my beautiful city of Okayama, where there are. 10 record stores and uh, that's something that I will um, come and follow up with at a later date. Thank you.